Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, I thought I would do a tutorial um, about creating a game map and then getting that into Unity and having it look good and um, having everything you need in there along with uh, textures, animations, um, and really make us feel like we're in a city scene that we're walking around in inside of um, inside of Unity. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. I'm in Cinema 4D R18. Um, and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create our base map. That's going to just be this first part of this tutorial. Um, so city scene, I'm going to grab my plane. I'm actually going to switch my um, switch my units over to feet. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess we'll just use meters since um, the United States is, for some reason, has not adapted the metric system. So let's do, uh, we'll do 100 meters by 100 meters. So we're going to have this nice big, big area um, to have our city in. And let's go half that. Let's go 50 by 50. And we're just going to use one segment um, and then make it editable so that we have one, just one flat plane that we can start to cut up and make uh, our kind of road grid. So I'm going to hit K on my keyboard and then the letter L to have my loop cut tool. And then I'm going to check and make sure that I have symmetrical cut on. And we're going to create our first row. Just if you go to the edges here um, of our plane, there we go. You'll notice that I can pick how big of a road I want. So we're going to do something like something like this. And then we're just going to add two more, but we have to have multiples of two. So I'm going to click five more times so that I have six lines. Um, and then I'm just going to play around a little bit with the roads and make them a little bit smaller. And we'll do something like that. So that's, that's going to be the first uh, part of our grid. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now we're going to come across here. Best to just kind of rotate around and look at our perspective. Let's go right in the middle there. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And actually, that's all I need, right? Yeah. Uh, and so same thing, make an adjustment here. Make my adjustment there. So now I've got this, you know, this kind of this road grid layout, which is uh, which is perfect to start with. All right, so now I've got my plane with all my roads cut, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm just going to throw a texture on there, so I know um, as I start working here that this is that these are meant to be my roads. And I'm not doing a very good job of live selecting. That's okay. Sometimes it's easier just to cut it, these out as opposed to selecting them all. So let's just create a new material. We're not going to do a whole lot with this. Um, we're just going to create a noise. We're going to turn our global scale way down. And we're going to darken it uh, a little bit here by just going in and grabbing a little bit darker of a gray. And I don't need reflectance on that. So this is kind of like going to be our asphalt look. So there we go. We've created that. There is our roadmap. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we need to just kind of extrude our sidewalks a little bit. And since we know that these are going to be where we're going to have buildings and people walking and stuff like that, um, we're going to select those. And we're just ever so slightly going to hold down the Windows key or the Command key and do a little extrusion there. So we've got a curb now on every corner um, in our block. So you can kind of see that if we go into a light and turn on a shadow. You can see that there's a little uh, curb now at the edge of each street. Um, but we're nowhere near where we need to be. I'm going to create a cube. It's right in the middle there. I'm going to kind of drag it over. 
I'm going to resize this for my crosswalk. Make it something like this. All right, I'm going to make it even flatter. It's basically right on the street. Perfect. And then I'm going to put that inside of a cloner. No, not a matrix, a uh, cloner. Right like that. And we're going to do grid. And then we're going to go one that direction and one that direction. So we only have it here on the on the X. And then let's put it, position it where we want. I might make my cube a little bit smaller. Um, something like that. And then let's add, just adjust the count once we know. Um, actually, first of all, resize it um, on the X here so that, I know, so that these two um, cubes rec uh, represent the farthest edge of where my cloner is going to be. And then I can go ahead and up the count to fill in my crosswalk. So something like that looks pretty, pretty good. Um, and if I just give it a quick render, I don't see it, so I need to make a quick adjustment by clicking on it and um, raising it up just a little bit, just a really small amount. There we go. And let's take a look. Cool. And now, of course, we need to put this on all corners. So easiest thing to do here is to extrude. Once you got two corners, it makes it easier. I'm just going to hold down the Command or Windows key and just quickly kind of drag these into place. Once you've created one roadway, you can select all of these cloners and then do a rotate uh, an extrusion to the right and an extrusion to the left. Once we've done that, we obviously have to do the other direction. So I'm going to click all these and group them. And then I'm going to extrude that. So I now have the duplicate of all of my crosswalks. And all I need to do now is I just need to rotate it by a full 90 degrees. And you'll notice that uh, we've got it basically um, into place where we want it. And it's looking. It's looking pretty good, I think. Um, so, yeah, the next thing we've got to do is have some um, lines here that, that are our medians for the road. So I'm just going to use the same cube, and I'm going to create a copy, pull that out of my group. So I have it perfect. I have it facing in this direction so I'll start by just centering it in the middle and then I need to create another cloner throw the cube in there we're gonna use uh, grid again we're gonna go use the Z to extend it out and now I have to really uh, change my size on the Z to extend out these lines and the same thing we're gonna go to the very edge where we want the last median line to be on either side. And then once we have that, we can just fill it in. So something like something like that. Same process. Let's grab this, extrude it over there and there. Let's group. And let's duplicate and do a 90 degree rotation. All right, so now we've got a pretty realistic looking uh, roadway scene here. Um, my, uh, you might have to adjust if you're really trying to get very close to the sur surface of the roadway. Let's bring those up. And there's our median line now. Obviously, we do not want to have these ugly looking median lines in our intersections. So what we can do is um, select these and make all of our median lines editable. And then what we can do is I'm just going to turn my plane off for now. 
So I'm just going to click and delete the lines that I don't want that are creeping into my intersection. Yeah, I don't need that as well. I don't need that. I don't need that. And just kind of work my way around the scene here quickly to, to do that. Okay, so we have it looking how we want now. Let me do a quick preview. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I wanted it to take, but we're in a good place now with uh, our road layout. So there's our grid. Um, last thing I'm going to do is in our plane, um, so let's take all of these nulls that we just created and we're going to group them again and just call this the um, median and crosswalk. Cool. Um, and then we're going to go back, yeah, like I said, we're going to go back to our plane, go into the polygon mode here, and select all of our street corners, or I guess you could say where the foundations of the buildings are going to be. And then we're going to create a new material, and we're going to do something similar to what we did with the um, pavement, where we do a noise. We're going to reduce the scale quite a bit. And we are going to now lighten it a little bit so that we've got um, you know, more of that concrete look. I might darken the white just a little bit. It's pretty similar. And I don't need reflectance. And I will drag that in and take a quick look. Cool. So that's just part one of setting up our game map. Uh, stay tuned for part two where we're going to come in here and we're going to start adding... Um, a lot of detail to this.